Hey there and welcome to another Halo action figure review. Today we are taking a look at something I have been waiting eight long months for. That is the Warthog, the vehicle for the Halo world or at least one of them the one the big one that i know about this vehicle comes with a master chief action figure and i don't know i'm just really excited i wasn't sure how well this would work with the gi joe figures it looks like a cool kind of sci-fi futuristic looking all-train four-wheel drive jeep military vehicle of sorts anyway i've just really been really excited to see how well this will work with my G.I. Joe figures. There's really not much to see with the box. The box is a pretty plain back. It has that look um, there. It has this picture all over the entire back, so I'm not going to show it to you. So this is the main thing that we're looking at. Includes one figure, Master Chief Warthog. It's a set. Some assembly required? Yes, thank goodness. I'm getting tired of vehicles that come all assembled. I loved back in the 80s and 90s when we got to assemble our vehicles. You know, some people would say, well, that was uh, Hasbro cheaping out and, you know, not putting them together. But you know what? That was part of the fun. I enjoyed putting vehicles together. It was like a little mini model kit with figures, but then they were functional. And I don't like model kits, but I like putting vehicles together. Down here, additional figure sold separately. So if you notice, there are two of them up here. So you get this guy, but this guy you got to find somewhere else. And blasting effects are simulated. You mean I'm not going to get to do that? Oh. Anyway, yeah, like I said, there's really not anything to show you with the box. And I don't really have the room to show it to you anyway. So let's get this thing open. Let's take a look at the pieces. Let's see what... What goes into putting this thing together and how it looks. Be right back. And we're back and all the pieces have been pulled out of the box. So I've laid them out so you can see exactly what came inside of that seemingly big box. So first off, we've got the body of the vehicle right there. We've got back here four big tires. I mean, look at those things. Those, th those things are good size. Let's knock some stuff over. We get the Master Chief figure, and he comes with an assault rifle. And we get the turret for the back of the vehicle. And we get a baggie full of stuff and, of course, an instruction manual so that we can put it together because it's, it's really difficult. Now if we take a look at this, I hope that's in focus, but look like, you know, four wheels, turret in, boom, done. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, that's pretty cool, though. You know, at least they're given something. There's some paperwork. And there's some things in here like gas cans. Let's, uh, we can just kind of go ahead and open that up here real quick. So there's an antenna. There is, looks like an ammo belt, maybe and four gas cans that hook on various points around here. So, I don't know. Let's get this thing uh, put together, I would say. We'll set Master Chief off to the side. We'll take a look at him in just a moment. So, yeah. Let's uh, put this thing together real quick. Ah, I lost it. I hope that's been in focus for you. So the ammo belt doesn't say so on here, but it does hook right there. So I've got a few extra gas cans. Not really sure where they go at the moment. Looking for a place for the antenna. Aha, the antenna. Looks like it goes right there. So I guess maybe you can just put these gas cans like wherever you want to. You can just 
Set them in there, unless this opens up. That does not open up. So there is the Warthog all finished up. Let's move that away. So that's really neat. That's cool. This is exciting. This is a nice, this is nice. I like this. This feels like a good quality vehicle. You know, about the same as G.I. Joe vehicles back in the day. That's really cool. I'm going to set that kind of here off to the side. I'm going to take a look at Master Chief. Are you ready, Master Chief, for your moment in the spotlight? So, it's a, pretty much the same figure that I opened up the other day. So, right there, you can kind of look at him. This is the single figure. He comes with this uh, figure stand. He comes with the assault rifle. This figure comes with the assault rifle. The coloring looks to be the same on him and the assault rifle. So I'll go ahead and take a look at the other video. I'm not going to go through this guy's articulation or anything. It's going to be exactly the same. So I'll link you to this video here. But anyway, yeah, there we go. The Warthog. So bear with me here with the... Uh, my focus so you can put him in here if his feet want to cooperate squeeze together squeeze together what's wrong ah actually almost doesn't seem like there's enough room in there for him so let's bend his bend his feet sees a little bit see if that'll help there that kind of works that kind of gets him in there that's kind of neat that's cool once I get off camera and I can actually look down in there better I'll be able to tell now there is a foot peg right there so if you wanted to well that that's not gonna work so if you want to you can also peg him in there and then he can kind of stand and hold on to stuff and fire a gun just like that. And if you've got several of these figures, then you can, uh, oh, he can drive himself around apparently like that. Yeah, this is neat. That's cool. Oh, I'm so excited. So before I sign off, now, actually, you know, let's pull these figures out for a second. Let's take a look a little bit at the vehicle, I guess. So there's a few neat features on here, like this gun can move around a little bit. I think, yeah, you can move it up so it's a little bit straighter. And then this will rotate. It's a little tight, but it does rotate. When you rotate it, it does come out, too. <laughs> but, yeah, this can go back and forth. It's got some detailing on here. If you can see as I move it around, like right here and right there to help make it look like this is a rugged vehicle, like some of the paint's been scraped off and you can see the metal kind of back here as well. It's got some interesting weathering to it. It's, it's really neat. It's got a couple hooks here in the front. So yeah, you can do stuff with the hooks. I like these gas cans, just little pieces of accessories that you, uh, put somewhere I just threw them in the back there see if you can see inside there at all see if I can readjust my lights a little bit I don't know if that'll work but it's got some really cool little console stuff unfortunately no stickers to put in like we used to do with the GI Joe figures there's a rubber soft rubber steering wheel here so I don't know how fragile that's gonna be if that's gonna be one of those future pieces you know, in 20 or 30 years that people are trying to going to try and find. But you might want to be careful. It's kind of rubbery, kind of loose. I think that might break. There's a shifter in here, which is also kind of bendy. If you can see that. So I'd be careful about hooking hands on that one as well. The antenna, I couldn't get mine in all the way. Probably when I really work on it, it'll go in all the way there. But that's a kind of a flimsy piece. So if you're unless you're if you're gonna display it, you could keep it on. But if you're gonna do other stuff, you may want to take that off and set it off to the side where you're not gonna lose it. 
because that may be a future piece as well. It's a pretty high off the ground. That's pretty neat. And let me grab a figure here. I found trusty low light. Now there's a chance that this has been this is in the what's called the world of halo scale. So there's a strong possibility that these are going to be scaled for these master chief figures which you can tell are just a little bit bigger than GI Joe figures. But that's because GI Joe is based off of a 6 foot scale as well as halo but the master chief characters are like 8 feet, 7 or 8 feet tall, so that's why they're so much bigger. So when you get the guys out of the armor, they're going to be more of the G.I. Joe size. But let's see. So if you put them back here, you know, it actually, it just looks like a big Jeep. The pegs aren't the same size, so you can't fit them in the pe on the pegs with their feet. Now, if you want to put them in the driver's seat, I bet they fit a lot better than the Master Chief. But I don't know. What do you think? Let's uh, stretch his arms out there. So he's going to need some phone books to reach that wheel. He can't quite reach it. There. But uh, what do you think size-wise? I don't know how many of us actually attach hands to wheels when we're doing stuff with vehicles. I bet he could... I bet the G.I. Joe figures would look okay in something like this. it just look like a bigger, overall, sturdier Jeep compared to, say, the Master Chief figure. That's just a thought there. So I think this actually is going to work quite well with G.I. Joe related figures. Let's see, who else can I pull out here? Here's a barbecue figure. We could tuck barbecue in here. Just like so. There, got a couple, uh, couple of them in there. And then we can grab Master Chief and peg him in the back. Oops, we twisted his ankle. There we go. Then Master Chief is going to be like the big old cyborg. Yeah, the cyborg that shoots stuff and gets hit out there, right? I've just totally changed the mythology around here. <laughs> but anyway, this is really cool. Oh, this is awesome. You got to get... Uh, this is... Uh, I found this at Target. I'm sure it's going to be online Amazon pretty soon, if not already. And Walmart, a lot of stores should actually have these. GameStop, I would imagine, would have these as well. So this is $29.99, $30 at Target. And for those looking in the store, you're not going to find these on the action figure. At least most of them aren't. I found these on the Mega bo Box. Mega Blocks aisle. So where you look for the Halo Mega Blocks, and you'll find this stuff. Um, this one I found up on the very top shelf. I've seen them on the bottom shelf as well, but they're either on the top or the very bottom shelf. So anyway, I think that about wraps this up. This is really cool. This is a neat... I love this vehicle. I think it works really well with any military baseline that you might have. Even the Marauder figures, I bet, would look pretty good with this. I can't pull mine out right, right this second. They're kind of buried. But this is a pretty awesome vehicle. This is really, really really neat this this just reminds me back of the day of the the gi joe vehicles and i haven't gotten any of the retro collection figure or the vehicles yet but this is really cool retro is awesome but new is even better so i am really really looking forward to looking at this and doing some stuff with it so anyway thank you for stopping by and thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video if it helped you out please give me a thumbs up and if you want to be notified when more of these types of videos show up or are released, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. I will be talking about all the Halo figures. I've got just about all of them sitting right over here off to the side. I've got a few. Here's one. Can't see it. There's another one. And I'm filling up my room here pretty quick. But anyway, we're going to be getting to these this week over the next few days. So stick around. It's going to be a ride. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.